Hello everyone, welcome to this AMV tutorial, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to add cinematic black bars to your edits, and these are really going to give your edits that little bit of extra kick that they need. So make sure to pause the video if I'm going too fast at any point, and there's also going to be timestamps in the description. Hope you enjoy! So I'm here with two clips that I've already been time remapped, and I've already added a transition to them. So this tutorial is not going to be covering these two aspects, I'm only going to be teaching you guys the black bars. So to start off, I'm going to click new, right click empty space, click new, and create a solid. Make sure it's black, and name it something like bars. Cut it down to the length of your composition, or however long you want it to last for. Right click on the bar layer, go to blending mode, and click stencil alpha. And now we can see our clips again. So click S to open the scale transform. And you can see that if we change the Y scale, we already have some black bars sort of going here. But what we're going to do is we're going to keyframe the Y scale so that the bars move. So here we have a zoom transition, and we're going to make the bars move so that it really emphasizes that transition. So you can see from here, the clip starts zooming in, and from around this point, it starts zooming out. So we essentially want the bars to follow with the clip. So right from where it starts zooming in, if you want the exact point, you can go into your effect and find the keyframe where it starts zooming in, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it roughly. So go to around that point, make a keyframe for scale. I'm going to make these smaller first because I'm going to be zooming in. Make a keyframe, go to the end of the transition, and then decrease the Y scale. So make the bars bigger. And now you can see that if we play our project, the bars get bigger as we zoom in, which is really cool, but it's not finished because the bars move really rigidly and they don't ease. So what we're going to do is we're going to highlight the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease. And you can also edit the graph if you want. So I'm going to drag this handle further back so that it moves quicker at the start. And now if we play it, it looks a lot better. Now, we can make the bar zoom out just as easily. So at the end of the clip, it zooms out. And what we're going to do is that we're going to make the bar smaller as it zooms out. So right after this keyframe, I'm going to make another one, and I'm not going to change it because I want the bars to stay still for a little bit. And as the clip zooms out, I'll make the bars smaller. You can edit the graph to your liking. This time I'm going to make it slower at the start because the zoom kind of accelerates out, so I want it to get, I want it to start off slow and slowly get faster. And now, if we play it back, Zoom in, zoom out, and that looks pretty good. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that in a full length project, your keyframes for your bars are going to look something like this, and your graph is going to look something like this. And this is because you're going to constantly have different types of transitions going on, so your bars are going to be moving a lot, but fundamentally it's all the same. So. Just follow what you did in this tutorial, and you should have no problems. Anyways, with that said, hope you guys found this tutorial helpful, and that's all from me. Peace.